so over here in Raytown at 10900066. I'm gonna take a look at this one. Uh, looks like it's got some vinyl siding on it. Oh, it's metal. That's nice. So low maintenance. Looks pretty nice on the outside, clean. Original windows, it looks like. Um, here's the front porch. Got an overhang here, covered porch, which is kind of handy. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on around the front here. These are some larger windows. Crank out windows. Oh, there's a cat in there. Looks like that's all wrapped in metal. Gutters look pretty good. Here's the side of the house. We do have an exterior outlet. There's a window unit right there. Overhead. Power lines go that way. Here's the air conditioner. The outside AC unit for the central. Looks like there's another maybe a window unit for the basement there. It's a little bit different. It's got a concrete block foundation at least on the back side. I think it's been added onto, it looks like. It looks like an old maybe alarm bell. Needs a little bit of work right back here. Got a rotten spot on the fascia and the soffit there. You can see that. That would need to be fixed. Got your gutters here. Downspouts out away from the foundation. Moving on into the backyard. Oh, still slipping and sliding through this snow. Whoa. Here's a back room addition. That's all it looks like. What is that? some type of like concrete board or exterior paneling looks like it's held up pretty well could use a, maybe a little bit of power washing to get that mold off that side but this is the back sunroom it looks like and it's got a nice little backyard with evergreen trees fenced in with an extra wide fence over there a couple of a couple of sheds to keep your mower in and stuff that one's Got a little bit of a roof problem cave in there from probably the snow weighing down that limb. Same with the back here. Got limbs over here. There's a back sliding door. There's a overhang on this back side of the house, which is a carport you could park underneath. And you've also got some parking over here in front of the southern shed, which is pretty handy. Roof looks pretty good from what I can see of it. Blacktop driveway, not too bad. Here's that concrete block again. And we're gonna head inside. All right, so we're inside the house here. Got a tile entryway, nice fireplace, in good shape. A little bit of a spot in the ceiling right there. Painted over paneling, 
hardwoods. This is the living room. And from the living room, we go into, this looks like a bedroom. Oh, bedroom with a closet. Here's the closet. It's also got the hardwood floors. They're actually in pretty good shape. Move on over here to the dining area and kitchen. So here's the dining area. There's where the outside window unit was. Got an updated light fixture here. So when we were outside, you could see that outside window unit. And then also here's the Here's where that cat was in the same spot that we saw it. So this is the sun, sun room basically with uh, that extra door outside. It's carpeted with some lower nap carpet, more industrial that could be kept. A lot of windows, a lot of sun there, that's nice. Here's the kitchen. With the linoleum floor. Range, kitchen cabinets. More kitchen cabinets. So you got ample kitchen space here, it looks like. Got a hood over the range. Um, again, it looks like the original windows, like I'd said. But it's not drafty or anything like that in here. Pretty warm and cozy, actually. A little bit of something on the ceiling where maybe a beam used to be right there that was removed. Then you got hardwoods again in this back room, which I was the one that had the uh, look like the composite board or or whatnot on the back. So looks like it's got a separate furnace. This is a nice little room. Again, cozy. This house is, you know, decent size, bigger than the last one that we looked at. No real water signs of leaks or anything. Um, big closet back here, it looks like. You can see that. And then this is that side where we saw the carport at on the outside. You can see that right out there. Here's the door outside. Let's see, this is another closet. And we'll work back over here. Does that old furnace, does it still work or is it disconnected? That one in that back room? Uh, last time, last time I knew it worked. As it, have you not turned it on? I don't think, I don't I don't think it of, runs. Yeah, okay. It's not needed, so. Yeah, a lot of people just disconnect them and don't even hardly use them anymore. I was just curious. All right, let me turn this light off. So you gotta get the dogs out for you. Oh, okay. This one? Okay. Here we'll go into this one so we don't disturb the dogs. That's them. Okay, so. Uh, got a lamp. Here we go. So here's the second bedroom. This is a bigger bedroom. Also got wood floors again. These these floors are in good shape. So, and they're ready to go, I'd say. You know what I can see of them. Got a closet there. So that's the second bedroom. And then we'll go check out this bathroom here. There's the bathroom. Got wall wall tile, toilet. 
sink vanity, older sink top and vanity, but it looks like everything works okay. Shower, tub, combo. All ceramic tiles around, looks pretty good. Tile on the floor. What is that? Uh, like a laminate square. Some cabinet, and then we'll, we'll let these gentlemen take care of these dogs and go in and check that room out. This is the biggest, looks like the biggest one of them all. It looks like a king size bed, so you can kind of get an idea of how big this room is. Yeah, it's nice. Good colors, the wall colors are good, neutral floor again looks great here's a little closet on this one yeah not too bad I don't see anything that's really crazy alarming or anything like that normal you know popping the tape of the ceiling joint all look pretty good except for maybe that one let's get all decapped so yeah so we're back into the kitchen area where we go to the basement and you got a nice attic access here too we have probably some extra storage up there going down in here into the basement Concrete block. There's an old sink. Washer and dryer hookups. There's the dryer vent hose. Sump pump. Always good to have. There's the drain line. There's the exterior um, AC unit that we saw on the outside side of the house there. <clears throat> no, it, it didn't come on. Yeah. That's all right, it's actually picking up quite a bit of light. Uh, it's not wet down here or anything like that that I've seen. Um, it's like a newer panel. There's the disconnect. Got duct work down here for heat. There's the furnace. How old is that? Is it pretty good? Yeah, I'm just, I just uh, worked on it. Okay, looks pretty new. Oh yeah, 07? No. No, that's no. the duct work. It's got to be newer than that. That's just when that... It might be 11 or 12. I don't know. It's definitely newer, we can tell that. So that's a good thing. Does it still have a humidifier on it or has that been okay. probably been disconnected? Those things are more trouble than they're worth usually. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> a 
There's a floor drain down here. Is that the drain line for the... Okay, so there's PVC for the AC A coils that drains down over here to that floor drain. As you can see, it comes off the furnace there. And then you got another, even yet another part of the basement over here. An old shower. It's got an old shower in it. My grandparents used to have a old shower in their basement. That was the only shower they had for a long time. They just had a bathtub upstairs. They only had to take their showers in the basement. There's a light switch back here. Is that this? Yeah, that's Oh yeah, sweet. All these walls look pretty straight. which is not always the case with cinder blocks. So this is just, this would just be used as maybe, you know, some extra storage. You can store your Christmas stuff down here. <coughs> nice to have that extra storage for all your stuff. Let's see how they braced and anchored the wall to the floor joist above. You got your main plumbing drain. All right, that's the basement. So wrapping things up over here on 66th, uh, get a view of down the street of some of the neighbor's properties. Keep in mind, we did have limbs down from the snowstorm, so you're gonna see that all across the whole Kansas City metro area right now. But here's the house right across the street, nice little home. Another one across the street. This is down the street the other direction. Here's the neighbor. Yeah, all in all, clean yards, decent vehicles. Not too shabby. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one and uh, whatever questions you might have and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot.